Now the growing problem of L.A. County Metro and the homeless who ride trains and buses all day and spill out onto the streets at night at the end of those line stations. Well, tonight Metro has released a count of just how many homeless people ride every day and then forced off at the end of the line. As Joy Benedict reports, the problem is massive and solutions are difficult to find. It is the rush of rush hour, but on the Metro it was most scurry to get out and head home. In North Hollywood, there are always a few who linger just to ride again. It is really like being um, on Skid Row. It's Skid Row on wheels. Now a new study by Metro puts the count at about 550. That's riders who ride all day with no place to go as they are seemingly homeless. I'm here at about 715 every day. Usually when the train comes in, the entire cart is filled with homeless people. The red line from Union Station to North Hollywood is considered one of the worst. I treat it kind of like wild animals of the city. You just don't interact with them, stay as far away as you can, and you're usually okay. The study shows when the metro stops just after midnight, more than 100 homeless people get off just here in North Hollywood alone. We have somebody that comes around uh, 5 o'clock in the morning or so and kind of rouses the folks that are uh, around. Daniel Zaldana is a barista at Groundworks Coffee, just a stone's throw away from the North Hollywood station. He says they now have security all day. And as he locks all the gates and the bathrooms when he leaves, he says he can't lock out the problem. So they've learned to live with it. It doesn't feel good to tell somebody, no, you can't. You can't use the restroom. With limited restrooms nearby, they now allow everyone to use them. He says it's the decent thing to do. Food, water, shelter, uh, restrooms are something that, that a functioning society would be willing to, you know, bear the costs of. Problems on the metro are well documented. Drug use, overdoses, disturbances, and people passed out. Others aren't even fully clothed. Well, I've had people fling me. Sorry, I shouldn't swear, but I've definitely had that. One guy tried to attack me with his bicycle. Even a month ago, they're literally smoking crack on the car. So we're breathing in crack. On this night, there was a heavy presence of police and ambassadors, and the trains seemed peaceful. And according to the study, 67% of the homeless on the metro surveyed would like help finding shelter. With the amount of taxes that come into the city, there has to be someone who has an answer that can use the money to do some good. A problem that can't get fixed soon enough for those dependent on public transportation, who instead of tapping in, may just tap out of riding. At all. I don't mean to dehumanize them because it is a human problem, but I mean, it sucks for everyone else that's just trying to get to work every day. LA Family Housing, which offers services for the unhoused here in the area, just signed a contract with Metro to hire two new outreach teams to work strictly with those riders on Metro, hoping to offer assistance for those willing to take it. In North Hollywood, I'm Joy Benedict, KCAL News.